Welcome back everyone. Today we are here with another tutorial on game development. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how we can reskin our games. For those of you who don't know about reskinning, reskins are the replacement of animations and graphics in our games. So today we're going to show you how to do this on this paper plane game. I hope you played it before. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, for this you need a graphic designing software. I'm using Illustrator. Also, I'm going to use Flash for animations. Those are very convenient. So here we have our background, which is a kind of mountains and forest, these trees. And we have our cute little Harry Potter, which we are going to replace with this plane and the background. As you can see, if I double click on the plane, you can see there are many animations and frame there are maybe seven so we are counting zero so there are eight frames in which you can see just plane goes slightly moves with the wind so we're not going to just use these animation we're just we just need a one single frame and we're also going to change the background as well so it creates some sort of great effect reskinning are simples you just need cha you just change the graphics and media such as sounds and music but you keep the game mechanics same so which means you are not going to change any sort of code in this game which will be just as same as it was before so the game basic concept and the mechanics is that there are rings generator you have to follow the rings and you have to go through the lane uh, through the rings from inside flying your paper plane it's quite a simple once you click the plane goes up or if you don't click it goes down kind of like the flip bird game type let me show you what I mean so here we have a gameplay so if I just click on it it goes up and if I just leave it goes down so as you can see we can play this and just passing the rings if you hit any of these edges of the rings you're gonna lose okay so let's edit our background and images for this we have our character already designed and the background as well we just need to adjust it make it infinite loop as you can see here this image has infinite loop so the background goes and repeat First of all, you need to see the dimensions and resolution of your image you're going to change. So just double click on a background and from the upper menu, you can see this resize. Just click on it. As you can see, they are 1920 and 1080. So we have designed our background with the same ratio with the same resolution so it matches perfectly so I was thinking I should use two different layers of background so create a 3d effects so those are parallax to each other which means this is the foreground which will move you know faster than the behind part the background for this you have to create a loop design a loop image so this is how it's done you have to just duplicate the image and let's see if it is matches here as you can see it never matches this way so what we are going to do we're going to cut some of the tree this part and add it somewhere here so it just matches completely just like we just take a little bit stretch it and here we have it so let's take this rectangle or maybe a line would be better so from the background line from the layout line we just created it select these two and we just cut that into two so now that now then it is cut it let's put it to the other edge 
right there okay perfect now if you see if you see this image now it matches completely from both edges now you can see there's no way anyone can figure out if this change is somewhere you see great now it's time for our background we'll do the same thing so as you can see at the end there's just this mountain goes pretty big pretty huge so we're just going to copy this to the other edge and we see so as you can see this isn't matching also we have this area which should not be higher than the end so I have created this extra part to matches the background and also erase the uh, the height of the background of the previous mountain let's see if the image matches completely so we're just going to copy duplicate it to the other edge and now you can see all the mountains are fixed together now we have put all these in a different artboard so we can export it as a different fi files here we have all our files saved the background forest harry potter and the sun so what we are going to do we're going to import it to our construct 2 just copy the link it will come handy and here we have a texture or a background just double click on it and you can see the entire image so so here you have load an image click on it just paste the link and it will open that folder so this is what we are going to change into just click open and boom it's done so let's cancel this as you can see first thing the background has been changed and now double click on the plane and you have to see the size as well so it's 222 and 74 here we are going to do the same just load an image double click on Harry Potter and you have the file save and we have all these rest of the frames the same so we don't need them so we'll just delete them hit the delete button it will delete all these files and now you have to resize it so this is the option of crop just crop it and you have to match the size so I use center align so we have a square use the same values as above so it will make a square now you can resize smaller it to how you want it resize it to 222 and 222 boom it is done now let's see the game so as you can see so actually there are two animations we forgot that so there is a crash and the default animation so in the crash one you have to make something like that it falls from the broomstick or anything that is possible but we're going to use the same as this one so we're going to take this you know selection tool rectangle select this copy and go to crash just delete this part and paste so we're going to ask either you want to enlarge the convex size yes we do and now it's done we also have to use image point as we didn't adjust it so it is right there and the image point origin which would be from the broomstick okay same for this one as well also you have to adjust the polygons as it was from the plane structure so we need to change or we can just guess the shape of polygons I think that looks fine so we have a big head and a broomstick I think that's complete so we have a collusions as well let's check out the game so far whoa it's going great 